What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with Porygon Z. Not just any Porygon Z, Adaptability Life Orb Porygon Z. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day just to scroll down a little bit and support the Jeans community by clicking that big red subscribe button. Again, it goes a long way, and I give a huge shout out to all my subscribers and everybody who's just tuned in and watching. The video. Seriously, thank you guys so much for checking out the Jeans content. But uh, let's get started here in that top left corner with today's team preview. Starting off with our first restricted Pokemon, we got Yabelto over here with Dark Aurora and a Soul Fest as his item and ability. This move set is probably my favorite. I should say this set in general is probably my favorite for Yabelto. It just works well on like any single team and in most situations. It's got Oblivion Wing for HP recovery and stab move. It's got Sucker Punch for first turn priority that works really well up against Shadow Rider Calyrexes. And then it has Foul Play and Snarl for special attack drops and big damage on physical attackers. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be right next to him and it is going to be Zacian over here. This Zacian is as normal as a Zacian can, can get. It's got Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword, Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Play Rough and Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Middle left is going to be Rillaboom over here, and Rillaboom is just one of those Pokemon that is good on any single team. If you have, like, an extra spot on the team, you can throw Rillaboom in there. He's just that Pokemon. He's got Grass Surge as its ability, alongside with the Miracle Seed as his item. Protect, Fake Out, High Horsepower, and Grassy Glide for a great moveset for this Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Volcarona over here, and this Volcarona is pretty good. I like it for, like, on the support side, because it has Rage Powder, it has String Shot for Speed Control, and then it has Fiery Dance for its lonesome stab-hitting move, and then Protect for its final move. It also has Flame Body to actually burn physical attackers, really, really good, and then it has that Focus Dash as an item to make it not get killed in one shot. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Porygon Z, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. I used them back when it first came out, and it was super strong, but ever since, you know, Series 12 and like restricted mons kind of came into the format. Porygon Z really has fallen off. It has adaptability, which I think is one of the strongest abilities in the game. And then it has Life Orb as its item. Protect, Tri Attack for Stab, Dark Pulse, and Thunderbolt for two coverage moves. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Grimmsnarl over here. And Grimmsnarl is just one of the best support mons in the game. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. It's got Prankster as its ability, alongside with the Black Glasses as its item. It's rocking Scary Face for your speed control, reflecting, you know. Half physical attacking damage coming in, and then fake tears for special attack drops alongside foul play for its final move. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, but the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Porygon Z Series 12 team. Battle number one is looking kind of scary for us. We are going up against one of the heaviest meta teams I've seen in a while. It's Shadow Rider Calyx, Groudon, Venusaur, Charizard, Incineroar, and Grimstone. So this guy hops onto that rank ladder looking to win and looking to push some high ranks. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could lead PZ. PZ's not too bad here, but I feel like he just gets outsped by most. Yabelta can counter up onto that Shadow Rider Calyx, which I like. But I could definitely see him leading like a Sun combo and kind of getting after the battle that way. So I could go Grimstone alongside PZ. I kind of dig that because I can legit just... uh go into a scary face for prankster and then slow down venusaur if he wants to do that and then just go pz all the way i'm kind of digging that and then we can bring you belt in the back end because you felt this amazing and zacian as our final pokemon i'm liking that a lot you know what? let's lock it in let's lock it down because i really do think he's going to lead the sun squad and then if he leads shadow rider calyx the ghost moves cannot hit this or at least hit my pz i'm digging that i don't think it's a bad lead i do not think this is a bad lead well, hopefully we can just get ripping up here, grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before battle one even starts, you guys got, you guys already know, head to the comment section right now and answer question of the day. What are some abilities that you guys think are the strongest in Pokemon? Considering we are using adaptability and I think that is one of the stronger abilities in the game. You guys got to let me know your answers in the comment section down below. But like I predicted, he's going to lead the Sun Squad. And I think from here, like I said, we just scary face. And Scary Face should allow my PZ to outspeed Venusaur. Then we can drop a Max Strike. We can get off some big damage. And we can kind of get more wild from that, right? Plus, that grants a bit more speed control. So, I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking that. So, yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to Max Strike onto this Venusaur. And we're going to roll off from there. Not a bad turn. Because what Scary Face does is it's going to drop his speed uh, minus two. And then that kind of cancels out the speed that he's getting from his Chlorophyll and the Sun. So that makes PZ faster. There's no way that this Venusaur is 150 speed. It's just not happening. I'm kind of hoping he's going for like, say, a Sleep Powder and he's not Focus Ash. So we can just rip into it. But he's not Dynamaxing, so I think he is going to go for a Sleep Powder. The Scary Face is going to come out here. Please don't be Focus Ash, because if it's Focus Ash, 
we don't kill it. But if it's not, it's dead all the way. The PC is going to go next. Max Strike coming in hot. Not a bad play from us. We're just hoping this thing's not Sash. Take it out, please. Of course. It's Focus Sash now. PC is going to see. Hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. He's put me to sleep all day. That hurts the soul, man. Focus Ash, man. Miss your sleep powder. Come on now. Come on now. Yo, look at the plays we made. We just made a solid play. We predicted the lead. We come in there with all that, and we roll out from there, and then he just puts me to sleep because Focus Ash. Heavy Slam comes in hot. We were able to soak, which is pretty good, and I could set up a Reflect for the rest of the battle. Probably, probably my better play, right? Reflect up. We already have some speed, and I kind of just want to max strike straight into you. Yeah, Reflect would be pretty good. So I'm going to set up the Reflect here. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul, dude. That definitely hurts the soul. The Focus Ash. Ugh, so ugly. So ugly. We just made the right calls, man. He's going to end up protecting the Venusaur. That's totally fine. I think he's kind of just wasting out turns at this point. I think he's going to try to go for Blades. I'm going to pop a little bit of Reflect. And hopefully next turn, my boy PZ can wake up. Because I know this turn, he's 100% asleep. But watch, you guys are gonna see a three turn sleep. Whenever my opponents have, uh, whenever my opponents are asleep, they're always asleep for I, only one turn usually. Me, I'm always asleep for three. So hopefully we'll get some RNG on our side here and we'll wake up this turn. Because I can go into Yveltal here and just straight up attack because we already have speed up against them. There's no need to go into a bat play. Or I could just snarl. I think snarl would be our better play. Just in case he wants to swap Venusaur. All right, yeah, we can Snarl here. The Snarl takes out Venusaur. It does a little bit of damage over onto the Groudon. I mean, we have speed up against all these guys, and then we can just drop a Max Strike into the Groudon slot. Can you wake up, PZ? Be my buddy and wake up. I already know he's not waking up, so there's no point of asking him. There's no point of asking him. My Pokemon like to take long naps. Long hibernation. They go into hibernation when they get put to sleep. It's awful. My opposing Pokemon, they take quick naps. They're like 15 minute naps, they're done. My guys collect the acorns and all that good stuff, burrow themselves in a hole, and stay asleep for the rest of their lives. He's gonna tie it for double protect. And PZ takes quick naps. <laughs> he was listening. My dude, PZ's gonna do some big damage over on the ground. On we pick up a KO, and that is huge. That's huge. We had a crit too, but I think we were KO and him maybe regardless. PZ just does too much damage. He legit does. So we're gonna able we're gonna be able to get rid of uh Venusaur here. I wonder who his two back end Pokemon are. Maybe it's Calyrex. Maybe it is Calyrex. We're gonna see. We are gonna see who it is. That is wild. That is wild. PZ wakes up. That's a big time wake up. That's a big time wake up. We really needed that. We really needed that. And he's gotta go into Calyrex, right? He's gotta have Calyrex and who else? Yep, there's Calyrex, who I think is gonna protect, and Charizard, who is probably gonna go after Yveltal. That is definitely an option. I don't know if we should Sucker Punch. Uh, what should I do here? We can just double down into Calyrex. Calyrex is our main threat. Who do we have in the back end? We do have Zacian. And, mm, Zacian's a little tough. That's a little tough going up against him. Obviously, we could Sucker Punch. I think Snarl is going to be your play. I'm going to go for Snarl, and I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse straight over into him. i go for a Thunderbolt. I do have Thunderbolt, which is pretty good. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm going to do. Because I, uh, I should have Thunderbolted. I should have definitely Thunderbolted. Because I think Calyrex is going to protect. I should have Thunderbolted. I should have Thunderbolted. We're going to hope that Calyrex doesn't protect. He's going to die to Max Charizard. And this is where the battle comes down to. This is the bread and butter bread and butter of the battle. Right here, right now, is the battle. I should have Thunderbolted in Charizard. I should have. I definitely should have. But I don't think that's gonna, that's going to call the battle. Cause I think he goes after Yveltal, and I don't think he can take out Yveltal with our uh, the, with that assault vest. So ends up going for a much. Okay, never mind. We made a great turn here. Did anybody outspeed that Charizard? Any of you guys outspeed that Charizard? Yveltal doesn't. Who are you going after? You go after P. That's actually not bad. I don't mind that turn. I don't mind that turn because I take off Focus last year. I don't mind that. Charles can come out here, drop, and we take off Focus Ash. And he, he wasn't even. Fo oh no, Venusaur was Focus Ash. Why did I think that thing was Focus Ash? Venusaur was Focus Ash. So Snarl takes him out. That's gorgeous. And on top of that, we get a special attack drop. I like it. I like it. And now I can Behemoth Blade get off some damage. Okay, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Not a bad first battle. 
Why well, I think that Calyrex had Focus Sash? I totally forgot that Venusaur gypped us with that Focus Sash. He was like, yeah, I got a Focus Sash and he put my PZ to sleep. But my PZ, so far my favorite Pokemon, that's not going to hibernation. It takes quick naps. <laughs> it woke up. I was like, let's go. Let's go. Big turn. And it dumped on that Groudon. But from here, um, I could Snarl again. I could Oblivion Wing. Uh, let's just go into Oblivion Wing. Chip up some damage. And then from here, Behemoth Blade's going to do the most damage. Because, you know, this thing is Dynamax. And Zassian does outspeed, which is good. So Zassian probably going to KO this thing. I think Charizard goes next and KOs him. Or Zassian doesn't KO this thing, but Charizard's going to KO my Zassian. Actually, never mind. Zassian does KO him. I'm I, like, Zassian is just too strong. Should not be able to kill a fully Dynamax Charizard with 75% of its HP with a not very effective move. That just shouldn't be allowed. To this day, I still don't understand how the developers of Pokemon were like, yo, let's put this dog in here with this sword that can legit kill any Pokemon. Even Pokemon that have better typing than him. I just don't, it's just, it just blows my mind how strong that Pokemon is. Like, it legit should not have been able to kill that Dynamax Charizard. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't have. And it just absolutely dumped on it. No problem whatsoever. But, yo, we take those wins. I'll take it all day. It moves my ranking up. But we're hopping into our second battle. Going up against a Trick Room team. He has P2 to set Trick Room. He also has Calyrex to set Trick Room. And then he has Regiram, Regilecki, Topifini, and Incineroar as his other four Pokemon. But we got to showcase PZ in that last battle, which I really like. But how should I go into this one and how should I play this one? I mean, Fake Out could be good as a starting turn. But I feel like Yvelta is going to have to kind of come in here. Or even Zacian with that Secret Sword. What do I want to do here? I could Dynamax you. I mean, he does have Fake Out ready to roll. Hmm. I'm going to go PZ. We might have to Dynamax PZ again early on. So PZ can come in here. Um, could go Yvelta. We can go into a Fake Out Monobar. I kind of dig that. We're going to go in with that same lead. Did we actually lead Robin last game? I think we did. I think we're going with the same squad. Look, look and go back to back here. Same squad in it. Same squad. Again. Actually, we led the uh, Grimstarl, didn't we? Yeah, we led the Grimstarl. We brought Grimstarl. We did not bring Robin. Yeah, Grimstarl came out there. We scary face. Our plan was working all good, but then he had focus ash. But it worked out for the better. We still won the match. It was awesome. It was dope. But I liked my calls last battle. We predicted the lead. We predicted everything. We we're rolling out strong. And he's going to go P2 alongside with... Uh, can we KO P2? I don't think we can KO P2. That's my problem. I don't like this game. Not one bit. Not one bit. Do I even Dynamax? Do I even Dynamax? I kind of still want to Dynamax here. P2 gets adaptability. Oh, that's ridiculous. Intimidate's going to come out here. Um, who's faster? Can you be faster than this Incineroar just so we can fake out? That can be really good for us. That's close. That's close. I don't know. That's close. That's close. That's close, man. We're going to go for it. We're going to double down to this P2. Double down to this P2. Yes, we go first. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Go fake out my... Uh... Oh, he's not even going for fake. I guess he's going for Flare Blitz. Do some nice damage. Do we get any status conditions? We do get a burn. We do get a burn. Good work, P2. Probably going for a flare, but so he's going to parting shot into me. How dare you? So he parting shots into me. Um, I think his plan was to set up trick room and kind of go from there. Now I don't really know what to do. Hmm. Tough place. Probably going to Calyrex, but he might not even swap into Calyrex now. Nope, he goes into Regiram. The Regiram comes out here. Uh, I think he's trying to set up a trick room. I think he's trying to set up a trick room. He could. I kind of want to double down this P2. Finish it off. Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Grassy Glide and I'm going to go into Try Attack here. I do think Regiram Dynamax is an easy trick room. But if I can, I, I don't mind getting rid of these two Pokemon. My PZ and my uh, Rillaboom. To kind of cancel out the trick room. Because I feel like Zassi and Yveltal, or well, Dynamax Yveltal at this point. And clean up the mess, right? Sounds pretty good. I wonder what he's going to do here. So, I'm almost positive this Grassy Guide and Try Attack should be able to do half that damage, right? It should be able to take him out. I'd be upset if not. I, I get it. We're minus one on our special attack and our physical attack for Roll Boom and PZ. But Regiram could Dynamax and get rid of him. That would be probably the smarter play. Wait, which draws PZ? Okay. Or P2. And he's going to go into Incineroar. So Intimidate's going to come back out here. 
Smart play, and I think he just Dynamax Res Ram and he gets after the battle. Right, because he has to have Calyrex in the back end. And then obviously the P2 because he just swapped it. But he's gonna Dynamax Reggie, right? Yeah, Reggie Ram's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna go into that flare, he's gonna take me out. And I might wanna swap P2, but not really. Maybe a little bit, not really. Hmm. Tough news, tough news. It's really tough. Really, really tough. Sitting in a good spot here. We're gonna go for the grassy guy. We're gonna do like six HP. Oh, well, maybe ten. <laughs> maybe ten. It's a record. And hopefully we get off a nice little statue condition. I would hope like a paralyze or something. But I doubt we're gonna get it. I'll pay damage. I'll pay damage though, P2 PZ. I keep calling him P P2. We're just gonna come out here. We're gonna say bye bye to Roll Boom. And uh who do I go into from here? Put down him actually Veltal. Then he can straight up parting shot into me. What does Jeans want to do here? I could do a really risky play. My risky play would be go into Yvelta, swap the PZ into Zacian, and then KO the, uh, the what's it called? I could Dynamax PZ. Wouldn't be a bad call. Or I could go into him and just force protect. Jeans play. What's the Jeans play? I think I'd rather Dynamax your belt though. I'm gonna go in with the sneaky play here. I'm going for sneaky play. I'm going for sneaky, sneaky play here. I'm going Dynamax your belt. I'm swapping the PZ to get my stats back. And we're gonna boost the speed of the Zacian. Sneaky play coming out here. Sneaky play. We're gonna say he's not going after his PZ with that uh, Resurrect. I'm gonna say he doesn't have the Moxie to do it. So I'm just gonna airstream in the slot. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going for a sneaky play to look to grab ourselves an advantage here. Because if this works out, this could be really, really good. Say he goes after my Yveltal, uh, say a fire move. Probably a fire move, right? Say he goes after Yveltal with with a fire move. Should be able to soak. We get out Zacian. Zacian can do some big time damage to Mezoran. We have speed on the board. We start taking control of this battle really, really well. We'll see what he wants to do here. We're going for the sneaky play. The sneaky play, bringing out Zacian in the drought up against two fire Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's do it, yo. Sneaky play coming out here. The sneakiest of plays. Cause he could he could fake out my uh one of my slots. I don't care if he fakes out the the PZ slot. Cause he does have fake out ready to roll. Oh, it's coming out. This this turn is deciding the battle. Right here, right now, it's deciding the battle. Let's see how this one plays out. I just need my Zassian to survive, man. I'm gonna go for the Airstream. Can we take out the Incineroar here? Oh, man! That hurts! The soul! The soul! It's hurting, man. Incineroar survives that. Kinda hurts. He's gonna flare into Yveltal, please? Cool. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Cause like I said, the Soul Fest, we're gonna soak. And he's gonna party shot. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And it's not, it's not too bad. We have PZ back Chonier. We might swap back into Incineroar. This is gonna go into P2, I think, or, or even Calyrex. Come out here. Even Cali, Cali can come out here. We can go into P2. The P2 is gonna come out here. He's gonna trace my Interpret Sword. <laughs> and look at that attack boost on the board. Dude's buzzing. Dude's buzzing. He's gonna get that terrain, and then he should get burned, right? Yeah. The burn brings it back down. Okay. We have Sacred Sword. We do have Play Rough. I mean, I can Sacred Sword you. Just get rid of you. Could protect if I want to. I could start lowering special defense. Let me see your, let me see your stats real quick. Come here, you Let me see your stats, buddy. Okay. If I'm on a Sacred Sword, try to take out that P2. And we'll go into the we'll go into a special special attack and one drop special defense here. You might think that I'm protecting Zassy. He withdraws the P2 into the uh Incineroar. Take a sword still should be able to just take it out. Yeah, he's on one and he gets out of Tomato. How dare you? How dare you do that? How dare you? So Sacred Swords connects. I don't think we're sitting bad. I really don't. 
I was just saying, we're gonna get special defense drop here. Take out Zassy in a few minutes. And then we have PZ in the back. If PZ just chilling in the back, and if I want some speed for him, I can get some speed for him. But that was a crit? That did like no damage. Did like no damage. I'm just gonna go for the flare. I think he takes out my Zassy, right? Yeah, Zassy goes home. I don't, I don't think it's a bad turn. I really don't think it's a bad turn. That should be Res Ram is done Dynamax here. He's minus one on special de uh, defense. I think PZ might be able to take it out in one shot. And then we could grant some more speed. He could go for a trick room too. He has a lot of options. He has options. P2 is coming out here. And this is the Pokemon I'm kind of scared of. This is P2. You can get Dark of War. <laughs> so I love that I love when this thing hops in battle and just takes uh takes everything. What I could do actually is Tri Attack should be able to take you out. I kind of want to do that. I'm just airstream this Treasure Ram. See what, how he plays this one. Airstream's gonna come out here. How much damage are we gonna do this Treasure Ram? Not too much. I kind of needed my piece. But I didn't want to pop on a Trick Room. That would have been my problem. Maybe I should just try Attack into Reggie. But Tri Attack should be able to take out P P2, no problem. Right, adaptability, we're fully back on our attack board. And we don't! We don't! Kinda stinks. And Trick Room is gonna pop now. Blue Fire is going to take out my P. Right? Yeah. All day. And that's gonna be GG's. Dang it, dude. I should try attacking to him. He was minus one on special defense. There's Soul, now Trick Room's coming out here, right? Yep, there it is. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. So we were kinda stuck in it. We were stuck in a tough, tough little spot there. Actually, I mean, maybe not. I mean, he has Calyrex in the back end, right? I was just saying, if I would have doubled down on the Regiram, maybe would have KO'd it, and then he gets off Trick Room anyway, but then he brings out Calyrex. And Calyrex is just that Pokemon with, uh, in Trick Room, he's gonna be able to just thrive up, thrive off onto us. I mean, we could have Sucker Punched. That would have been rather close. It would have definitely been close, but that's pretty much GG's, right? That's pretty much GG's. I feel like this Javelta was kind of underwhelming in the Dynamax form, and did not do nearly enough damage that we needed to to do. But we're one on one. Let's hop to a third and final battle. Look for that winning record. So guys, in this third and final battle, I'm not gonna be Dynamaxing at Yvelta. He was definitely underwhelming and did not do nearly enough damage that we wanted to do. But we're going up against a really tough team here in battle number three. Hopefully we can beat it. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But he's got the Swift Swim, Kyogre, and Seismitoad team. Alongside the Rillaboom, Zassian, the Bird, and Grimmsnarl. I definitely want Rillaboom, but I don't think I should lead Wilbur because I think he's going to lead the Zapdos. And the Zapdos could be a problem. Maybe I want to go into Grimmsnarl and PZ. PZ could be solid. We could go into Zacian. Zacian's not too bad. But I feel like he might lead his own Wilbur. I'm definitely going to go into PZ here. PZ, I could go PZ and I could go uh, Volcarona, which wouldn't be too bad. I could set up some string shots and get off some fiery dances. But I definitely have to bring in Wilbur. You know, Wilbur has to come out here. Do I lead him? Or do I lead, like, say, Zacian? I feel like Zacian could be solid here. I feel like Zacian can get off some work. So, you know, I'm going to lead Zacian. I'm going to bring Rillaboom and Yvelta in the back end. Because, again, Rillaboom's going to do work up against the size of Kyogre, but I just don't see him leading that. I feel like he's going to lead the bird, and he's going to get after it that way. Right? It makes sense because he might be predicting that I'm going to lead the bird. I have Fake Out. I can Grass Glide and kind of get after the battle. So, we'll see what he wants to do here. He leads the water squad. I might be in for a rough battle here. Let's see what. Let's see who he leads. Zapdos, Zass. Cool, cool. So this is why I, I thought he was gonna lead the Zapdos for sure. And we're gonna go into P2 or PZ and our Zassian. Okay, that ain't too bad. Um, I don't watch out for Behemoth Blade. I could actually protect this turn. And I'm thinking of just protecting going into Behemoth Blade, into his Zassian, and trying to get after him that way. Cause I don't want to Dynamax PZ and just get beat up on by a Behemoth Blade and waste my Dynamax like that. You know. So I'm just gonna behemoth blade into here. I'm just gonna go from there. He's gonna Dynamax his Aptos. He's gonna get after. I don't even know who he's gonna get after. The good thing I did not Dynamax Robum, because Robum's gonna be good for the back end. Because he has to have the rain squad. He has to have the rain squad in the back end. But this is still looking a little tough for us. It still is looking a little tough for us. I mean Volcarona could have been really solid for us here. I was just say if I would have led Volcarona, I could have rage powdered some shots. And then plus I have Flame Body on top of that, so we could have had a nice little chance of burning his ass here. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing the bird. Probably go into an Airstream. Right? Try to grant some more speed on his side. I'm going to protect the PZ. And I'm hoping that he uh, goes into a... Uh, 
Goes into my PZ. This assy. We'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see. That scene's gonna. Oh, come on, man! He ends up protecting. Why are you protecting that assy? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Could have dynamaxed my PZ. Demon Blade's gonna get blocked. And he's probably just going after my Zassian, right? Airstream going to P? Going to my P? He does go into my P. Okay. So Protect's really come up clutch. He is gonna grant some speed here. I think PZ just goes out here, no problem. PZ's not looking so hot. Um What do I do from here? I have to get after Zassian. I'm gonna double down on Zassian here. Actually, what would be better? I like a Thunderbolt in Zassian. Not a Thunderbolt in Behemoth Wade. That hurts, man. I always hate being protected. It's like the worst feeling. You're just like, oh my god, I just wasted out a turn. I just wasted out a turn. <laughs> Let's see what he does here. The PC is super strong. Like back before like restricted monster were a thing, he used to rip. He used to rip. But now that restricted monster were a thing, he kind of just gets dumped on by a lot. He's going to end up bleeding my Zassian. Zassian should be able to soak that up. It doesn't. Was that a crit? Of course. My RNG is just in the trash right now. Just the game, just like, all right, Gene, you're, you're done. You're done. Lightning's gonna come in here. It's gonna pick up the KO. Gonna eat this up somehow, PZ. You no shot. No shot. So that really just did me dirty there. That 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 crit really just did me dirty. That hurts, yo. Because I can't get swept here. I cannot get swept. I cannot allow it. I cannot allow it. We have to go into these two. And Zassian's just gonna protect again, right? Zassian's gonna protect again. I might just protect my real boom. I might just protect my real boom. Because we cannot get swept. We cannot. We cannot. You guys, no deal. We don't go 0 and 3. We already won the first battle. And we don't get swept in videos. So, from here, we're going to read this Ascian Protect. And I think we just go into a Max Darkness, right? Drop that special defense. What does more? My special attacking one do more? Let's see how much this physical attack does. And I legit just said, we are not going to Dynamax this. Uh, Actually, we could Dynamax the... Uh, we could just go into Snarl here. I feel like Snarl is going to be a play. And we could Dynamax the Rule Boom. I'm going to Dynamax the Rule Boom. I was just saying that we're not going to Dynamax the Evelto. We're going to Dynamax the Rule Boom. Because that, that Yvelto was definitely just underwhelming us. But yeah, we can't get swept. We cannot. We shall not allow it. So even if he does protect his Ascian, which I do think he's going to do, we are going to grant ourselves a special defense boost. It'll work out pretty well here. He's probably going to go into an Airstream, which we should be able to soak up. Then we can just try to get after it. I mean, he probably has Hurricane. We can hope that he misses it. Behemoth Blade comes in here. Wow. He's just making calls. So he thinks my Yvelto is Dynamaxing, which it was not. Where you are able to eat. Airstream's gonna fly here. Robum should be able to soak that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we just need to take out one of these Pokemon. We just need to get rid of one of them. Probably should have went into a foul play on his ass and we could taking it out, but I did think he was gonna protect. Charles gonna come out here. Actually did a lot of damage. Actually did a lot of damage. Nice chunk for Snarl. We're gonna drop a Quake. I don't think Quake KOs though. It does. Beautiful. I love you, Robum. So we don't get swept. There it is. Awesome. That's uh, that's all I wanted to do because after he got that crit there with Behemoth Blade, that was really tough for us. It was really tough for us because I would have definitely played this battle differently. We could have gotten off some big damage onto, uh, onto what's called right there. Onto Zassian, and it, we definitely could have played this one differently. But I already know what he's going to do. He's bringing out Kyogre, right? Yep, there's Kyogre, and he's just going to Hurricane now. Hurricane's 100%. Um, I could guard here. I could guard, but yeah, this one's this one's not looking good for me. It is not looking good, but hey, at least I didn't get swept. That was my that was my whole plan. Uh, what do I do here? Sucker punch into you? I guess. I guess we'll sucker punch him. We'll guard this turn. <laughs> but he's just gonna geyser. It's over with. He has speed all day. Hurricane don't miss. Not geyser. It's spout. It's just over. It's just over. Sucker Punch coming in hot. How much damage is Sucker Punch doing? Not bad. Hurricane comes in here. Block. 
Water spout somehow miss. Let's see a Yveltal. Yveltal gone. I mean, it has a soul vest, but there's no way it eats that up. Yeah, see, no shot. If it was able to eat that up, we might have been had a, having a better chance, but I think we have to land another max guard here. I mean, it don't matter. It don't matter because say we land another max guard, then we could just grass glide into him. Take out the Kyogre, but then his Hurricane still lands. So we're just going to run this battle. One and two for today's video. Not too bad. Third and final battle kind of came down to RNG. Critical Hits doing me dirty. One and two for today's video. Not too bad. Absolutely love this team, and I absolutely love Porygon Z. We got to showcase him to his fullest potential in battle number one and showcase just how much damage he can actually do. But wish we were able to grab ourselves another win, but hey, one and two isn't too bad. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.